This one's so good. You're never going to expect it. Decided. Ooh, some of you are going to be like, I know. You what is this book? Ooh, if you can get them for a good price, they are money. Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit. So basically, you go out and you find the item at a garage sale, a thrift store, an estate sale, and you flip it on a reselling platform for a profit. That's what this video is all about, and I will tell you that anybody can do it. So we are going to get started here. Um, I posted this, Share Your Best April Bolo, in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, and I invited everybody in the group to share their best bolo. Now, in this video, you are going to see some big money bolos. Is it always like that? No. A lot of times, we are just selling bread and butter items, items that we can pick up cheap and flip quick, or items that we can buy for 50 cents and sell for $15. It is not always big money, and a lot of times... Items can be long tail. What does that mean? It means that they can sit for a while before they sell. So some people are long tail resellers. Some people are not. I personally, I don't care how long it takes to sell. Yes, I like a quick flip, but I am a very patient reseller. So I am going to share with you some big money bolos from the Facebook members. And if you're not in my Facebook group, it looks like this. Over 85,000 members. So you are definitely going to learn something new if you join this group. So I hope to see you there. There is a link tree down below. And if you click on that, all of my, fa I've got two Facebook groups, Instagram, Twitter, all of my links on social media are there. So definitely go and join. All right. So this first one comes from Bolo Buddies member, Stellar seller sam it's always a tongue twister and she is a bolo buddies member what that means is she has joined memberships on my youtube channel this channel to get a pop-up of her youtube channel here and a link down below so these resellers are content creators with reseller content so you definitely want to go subscribe to them because they're bolo finders and you're going to learn a lot so stellar seller sam is a newer youtube channel but I will tell you, her editing skills are incredible. Um, wow. I mean, when I first started, and my editing skills still are not as good as hers, so definitely go check her out. But she said, my first calculator sale got at the bins for less than $1. Listed it, and it sold for full asking price by the next morning. Definitely a bolo. We'll be picking up more when I see them. And this is what it looks like. It's a Texas Instruments ti 89 titanium graphing calculator. Some of these graphing calculators can go for over a hundred dollars. So if you see a graphing calculator, look it up. There's always a number on it. Search solds high to low and then list it because whoo, if you can get them for a good price, they are money. Now I will tell you, I don't know if this has happened to any of you. Let me know in the comments. Whenever I list a graphing calculator, it's always the same buyer, I think. I haven't listed one for a while, but it seems like um, there's a certain, I don't know if it's, I'm guessing it's a reseller and they're buying them for something and reselling them for more. I don't know, but something about graphing calculators, they just fly out of my store. All right, um, you can sell them for parts. If you only find the front of the case, you can sell that. If you only have the calculator part, you can sell that. So definitely uh, keep that in mind. So if you're at the Goodwill Benz and you see just the top cover, somebody's looking for that. Or the battery cover, somebody needs it. All right, this one comes from Bolo Buddies membered, member, Childhood Finds. I picked this book up at the local thrift store for $4. I listed high and took a best offer after a month and a half for a uh, 215 as an extra note, I found this first four in the Outlander series at this store and have officially sold all of them for a total of $420. What is this book? Outlander by Diana Gabaldon, first edition, first printing, 1991. $215. Yeah, that is crazy, right? I'm... I thought... 
I, it says Pang, P-A-N-G-A-I-A. I don't know. Never heard of it. Pangaea? Pangaea? It's a sweatsuit and I can't see her title. So we're going to go with she's got the spelling right and look for this brand of clothing. Pangaea. <laughs> Pangaea. <laughs> All right. And it says, I saw the set and it looked and felt like great quality. So I looked it up. Retail the hoodies and sweatshirts each go for 130 plus. I did pay up a bit around $20 for the set and just sold for an offer of 110 I might have undersold it, but my sales are down, so I'm happy with what I got for it. So this is what it looks like. I, I'll i try to maybe zoom in on the tag for you guys, but um, or whatever this says right here, but I've never seen this before, so be on the lookout. Decided, ooh, some of you are going to be like, I know you guys get me when I go to the Goodwill bins and I pull things off dollhouses. I'm like, look, it's going to the landfill. Like if I don't if I don't save some of it, it's all going to the landfill and somebody needs those dollhouse windows. But this is a little bit different. So be nice, be nice, be nice. And I know some of you love your glass because the video that I just posted that looks like this of my husband curbside picking, <laughs> some of you were like, ah! you guys, if you didn't see this video, you gotta go check it out, my husband. He's kind of hilarious. Um, I didn't know how funny he was until he did this video. So uh, definitely, uh, I'll, I'll link it down below. So what she says is, I decided to separate an, whoa, an Empoli decanter and sell the stopper separate from the bottle. So she had the set and she sold it separate. <gasps> she said, based on comps, you actually make more separating. Sold within two weeks. Would you guys have kept it together or separated it? <gasps> I don't know what I would have done. But after seeing this sold price, I'm like, she may have done the right thing. Vintage 7.5 inch and pulley glass blue bubble hobnail genie bottle. And it's just the stopper. She sold it for $99.99 plus shipping. And I'm not sure what she paid for or where she got it, but I'm just like, you got to share it. So, she said, somebody wrote, that's evil, but ingenious. <laughs> I don't collect these, but I'm in plenty of Facebook groups where they do. And she said it was a tough decision, but I knew I'd keep putting it off. I have two actually, and I still need to list the topper. So what I would say, as long as she lists both parts and both parts are sold and go safely to a home where they can be used, it's still out there. You know what I mean? Personally, I'm not offended by this. It, I mean, she made more money doing it this way. And as resellers, I mean, that's usually the goal, right? To make the most for your item. Let me know in the comments. I think this is going to be crazy. The comments are going to be crazy on this one. Some of you are going to be like, no way. And some of you are going to be like, yes, I would do it. So um, be nice, but let me know what you think in the comments. I'm looking forward to seeing that. And you guys all got to go check the comments and see what everybody wrote, okay? Bought this lot of Mario figures at an auction Wednesday night. Picked it up Friday, started to go through the lot, and, and 45 other lots I won. This one little figure was a total shock. Listed it yesterday, and it sold tonight. Okay, let me see. It's really, really small. I can't see what it sold for. Oh, my goodness. It's a Super Mario Brothers. It's... um. It's so small. I'm going to blow it up for you guys. I can't even tell you what it says. Is it Bowser, maybe? He's the mean guy. What's the mean guy on Mario? And I can't see what it sold for. But I'm going to pop it up, and I'm going to try to blow it up. And if I can't, I will try to reach out to the person that posted it and get you guys a bigger screenshot. So I don't know. But anyway, it's a Mario figure. So look up them Mario Brothers figures. It looks like some of them can be big money on their own. Holy double bolo, this person says. My first big plush sales. Oh. Apuamua? Oh. Me meows. Apuma. 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 Oh. God, 
eyes. Why? Why? Why can't it just be like happy meows or something? Okay. I'm going to show you what it looks like and you can read the title. Found the potato cat and teapot cat. Potato sold at 115 in less than a week with positive feedback and teapot cat put on auction and sold for $470. Then I had people messaging me after the auction trying to buy it for 550, but I wasn't about to ruin my integrity for a couple extra bucks. Oh no. Afuma, A-P-H-M-A-U, how on earth do you say that? Writes a YouTube series that is really big and sells the characters in plush form. Wow. So it's a YouTube series. These two are from the five original releases. There are only a thousand of those teapot ones made, so super rare and super sought after. It had over 800 views in 10 days. Also a brand with super good sell-through rate on eBay with lowest and most prices around 20. Oh, and only paid five each at the Goodwill. Okay, let's look at these things. So A-P-H-M-A-U, me meows. <laughs> And this is what they look like. Incredible. 150, wait, what'd they say? The first one, 115 best offer and 470 on auction for the second one. Wow. And they've still got the tags on them. That's, that's great. Okay. Bought at a local thrift store here in Southern California for $1.08. Listed in my eBay and for $89. Took a best offer of $76 plus shipping. Sold on April 7th. It is a Gianni Versace maroon and gold Baroque Medusa print. Did I say it all right? <laughs> $76 plus shipping. During our cleaning, during our cleaning, our house out to sell, Dug this out of our attic. Has been there since our son left in 2004 to attend college. Still worked. I think I paid 15 in the early 90s. Have another one called the Grossinator. Currently in my eBay store. Oh, what goodies I found in the attic that were his. It's a retired... Insultinator? It's an insultinator. I think I need one of these. Does it insult you? It's an insultinator. Uh, says random insults, many combinations. This is what it looks like. Eighty-four forty-nine plus shipping. I love it. Um, hi, Courtney. I have been watching you, your YouTube videos for a while and learning so much as a new seller on eBay. I have had this acrylic, acrylic spaghetti lamp for years sitting in my spare room. I love it, but I finally decided to list it. Sold for $450 plus shipping. I originally listed it cheaper, did some research, went back and revised it for much more. So glad I searched harder. Sold within a week. It is beautiful. It's Lucite, you guys. Wow, that is awesome. And congratulations being a new reseller and selling something for $450. That's great. She only has seven feedback. So that is great. Yes, and... uh. Yeah, doing deep dive research. Research. All right, here's um another one. Pick this cool Rushton plush up at the Goodwill bins where my daughter threw it aside and said, I don't want this creepy thing. So I grabbed it and paid less than $2 for it. There was only one other on eBay and it sold. So I knew I had a treasure. It sold for $400, my best bins flip yet. And it's a Rushton pink bear. How fun is that? Yeah, if you guys don't know, Rushton is a big money bolo. I think I have a video on Rushton. If not, it's like mixed into my other one. This hoop, oh my goodness, I love this one. This is one of those that is just so unexpected. You're going to be like, I'm making you wait. Just, I'm just going to make you wait a minute. This one's so good. You're never going to expect it. If you knew about this, let me know in the comments. If you didn't, let me know in the comments. This hoop was posted on eBay for auction and I purchased it in a lot of cross stitch hoops at a local thrift store for $3.97. All in for a bag of 20 hoops. Thrift store, $3.97 for 20 of 20 hoops. 
After researching the wood hoops, I found out this queen hoop is very rare. This little thing measured six by three and it sold for $383.67. I was completely blown away that it even, that even in not great condition, it sold so well. So it wasn't even in good condition. <gasps> wow. Small oval queen embroidery hoop, wood tension wheel, felt lined USA six by three. Great keywords. This is what it looks like. Don't pass them up. Look them up. Wow. Almost 400 bucks for that thing. That is awesome. And that was um, an eBay auction. Somebody asked me, how do you know if it's an auction when I do these videos? Usually I'll tell you if it's an auction. Um, usually they will say if they took a best offer. And if not, it was probably just a buy it now. But like, do you see in this photo, you can see that this had 10 bids. So you know that it was an auction. All right, this one comes from Bolo Buddies member. The eBay store is the Kitchy Canson. She said, my aunt found a box of these in her garage attic and asked if I wanted them. I had no idea what they were, but of course I said, yes, please. After lots of research, I decided they had to be letter presses, but could not find any like what I had. I listed four of them starting at 40 to 50, each depending on size, the largest being five by five. Took a best offer of 43 on this one and 52 more to sell. Eek! I will be sharing the profits with my amazing aunt. Oh, that's awesome. This is what they look like. So it says vintage printing, letterpress printer block stamp, copper wood, water fountain peacock. How cool is that? All right. Bolo, Aviator Nation purple velvet sweater. I went to a local thrift store in Oklahoma on my lunch break and they were having a sale. Fill a cart for 10. Fill a cart for 10? Wow. They were clearing out their winter items. I had no idea what I had and was unfamiliar with the brand. When I returned to work, I used Google Lens and was surprised to find this item is a bolo. I had it listed at 185. Buyer sent an offer of 175 and I accepted. After Poshmark fees, my earning earnings was 140. By the way, I love your YouTube channel and I'm a frequent watcher. I've learned so many things, new things from you. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I really, really do. Um, I have never heard of this brand and that is a huge profit. Fill a bag for 10 bucks and it sold for 175. If you're not familiar with Poshmark, they do take 20%, um, but the shipping over there is a flat rate if it's five pounds or less. So I like to use Poshmark on those heavier items that are like four or five pounds, like board games are great over there. I mean, I'll put anything on Poshmark, but some of those heavier things, like a pair of roller skates, as long as they're less than five pounds and it's not like a huge box, you're good to go. And that shipping is going to be cheaper over there. I think it's like $7 and it's just under eight bucks. Uh, the last time I looked, but I don't know if they, I think they may have just had a price increase, but I think it's still under eight bucks. So I do have a referral link down below. If you guys want to sell on Poshmark, you'll get $10 to shop with my referral link. If you want to sell on Mercari, there's a link down below for that as well. You will get uh, $10 to shop when you join with that link. And if you sell a hundred dollars worth of stuff, I mean, we are resellers, right? You will get another $20 to shop. And then you can take that $30 and you can buy something to resell and make even more money. I'm always like trying to give you guys ways to make money. So both those links are down below. I'd appreciate it if you guys use them. I start my items on eBay. I use List Perfectly to cross post. If you don't know what List Perfectly is, it's a way to cross post your items. You can use the catalog or you can cross post manually um, from one platform to another. You can start on Mercari and go to eBay. You can start on uh, Poshmark and go to the other platforms. I have videos on all of that. Just type in Bolo Buddies list perfectly into the um, e uh, YouTube search and it will pull up all my different videos. They're tutorials, they're demos, they show you how to do it because if I'm going to invest my money and my time into something, I want to know that it has good value for me for my business. I have been using list perfectly since 2019 and I can tell you it is amazing. But the demo video down below in the description that's actually in the description of the video kind of covers a little bit of everything. So that's the one I would recommend that you watch first. And if you decide you want to use it, um, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word. Um, 
Highly recommend it. So uh, definitely check that out. Uh, more eyes on your items when they're on more platforms, okay? Let's do one more. No, let's do two more. Let's do two more. Vintage 18 inch carved wood teddy bear figurine, head, hands, and legs move. This is what it looks like and it sold on Poshmark for $60. This next one comes from Take Two Enterprises and this is her eBay store. Bought this the last day of an estate sale in a bundle around a dollar. Listed and sold for full, full asking price of $59.99 plus shipping in less than 10 minutes. <gasps> do you think she undersold it or do you think she priced it just right? Let me know in the comments. I even had it listed higher than all the others. Well, I mean, if she had it listed higher, something stood out. She must have had good keywords or something. We East China Herbal Ultimate Renewal. Maybe is it a face cream? Maybe a face cream? This is what it looks like. And again, anybody that is a Bolo Buddies member, I have their links down in the description. So go follow their eBay stores and definitely subscribe to them if they are YouTubers because they have awesome reseller content. All right, we're going to do one more. This one sold for $190, best offer. It is a vintage Pyrex Horizon Blue Cinderella Mixing Bowl set of four, bought for about $45 total for the set at a local nonprofit thrift store and sold for $190. They are vintage Pyrex Apollo 11 Horizon Blue set of Cinderella Mixing Bowls. And this is what they look like. And you know what that looks like to me? It looks like a nightmare. Nightmare. It looks like a nightmare to ship, but the money's nice, right? But a nightmare to ship. Oh, I'm sorry, but how do you even ship that? How do you ship that? Oh, let me know in the comments if you guys have a secret tip for shipping. Um, what do you call that? Where they sit down inside of each other, the bowls that sit down inside of each other. I can't think of it right now. This is me thinking of it it's not in the title help me out help me out in the comments how do you ship this and what's it called when they fit down inside of each other all right you guys thank you so much for being here thank you for watching there's going to be some videos popping up here and here a subscribe and another video down below hopefully i didn't drive you too crazy with all my mispronunciations and not knowing what it means when they fit down inside of each other what is that called it's going to come to me as soon as i turn this video off Oh, you guys know that like when you're trying to figure it out, it's like right there on the tip of my tongue. I just don't know. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you know someone who'd be interested in this type of content, share it out. I would appreciate it so much. Thanks for watching. Seller, sellers. Nope. My listing below. Vintage carved wood teddy bear. Figuring head, hands and legs move. $60. Size approximately 16 inches. I am so confused here. Vintage 18 inch carved wood teddy bear. Vintage head. Heads and... What is happening here? Oh, I think they're giving me the title. Okay, so they were telling me, and then they gave me the title. Okay, so I'm going to start over. We're just going to fix this. My listing below. Approximately, no. <laughs> Let's try this again. This is so confusing the way it's written.